This is the story of a group of women who began a process of reconnecting to their lives and revaluing their experiences through reading and writing. They were living at the Glory House, a home for recovering women, where during a weekly literacy class, the students began finding their voices and expressing themselves in writing. We read Keisha's House by Helen Frost, a book about a safe house for teens who ran away from home for various reasons. When we read about a teenage girl who had to leave home because she was pregnant and her parents couldn't handle it, Susie told about how she had twins at age 11 after being raped by her brother. Her mother proceeded to throw her out of the house, beginning many years of living on the streets. When we read about a boy whose parents couldn't accept the fact that he was gay, Lisa told about the support she received from her mother for her own lifestyle. As long as you're happy, she would always tell her daughter. A photography project brought out hidden writing for the students. Each participant was given a camera and asked to take pictures relevant to her life. When the pictures were developed, they talked and wrote about what the pictures meant to them. I chose to take a picture of an abandoned house because two years ago, when I was drinking, I lived in an abandoned house. I chose to abandon myself and my life. I didn't care where I lived. All I needed was a to drink. First, I took pictures of the flowers when they were very small, and about two weeks later, when they had grown. I did that because they remind me of myself. When I got clean this time, I was very immature. But now I feel that I'm growing each day, learning about myself. This is the way I used to be when I wasn't using. I used to be beautiful mother. But when I was using, I was nobody. Today, I am doing the right thing. Getting a new foundation for life. Today, when I look at myself in the mirror, I laugh. I am somebody. Jesus loved me. I love myself. Today, I am proud of myself. I am a powerful woman. I hold my head up high. I took a picture of two guys sleeping in the park because I remember when I used to sleep in the park. I would get a lunch, I would get a blanket for free lunch and lay down on the blanket under a tree on the grass because I was drunk. I can laugh at it now, but then it wasn't funny. I was sad and alone with no one to talk to, no one to listen to me. I would pray to God and ask, why am I living like this? And I stopped believing in God. Now I do believe again, and I can, and I have to remember these days to stay sober. I took a picture of the little bear on top of my dresser. It has a pen that says, God Recovery. I chose the picture because a lot of people talk about their recovery, but their life doesn't match up. It reminds me, am I really working on my recovery? Am I doing the best I can to progress? Sometimes I don't think so. I just need to rest. I've always loved dogs. It's almost like they understand me and I can understand their need and desire to be loved. This is true, my best friend. I tell him everything, well not in words. When I feel upset, happy, or just plain down, I go and sit with you. I don't have to talk. I can sit still and let my higher power speak to me in the stillness. When I was young, I was told I was adopted from Canada, that I'm Mohawk Indian and French Canadian. Indians believe in spirit guides, and so do I. I feel that certain dogs trust me because they know I have the wolf spirit by my side. The wolf is the teacher, the pathfinder, and the moon dog of my soul. This is a picture of my newly acquired tattoo. A cross with a butterfly in the middle. And in the four, four corners, it says, only by God's grace. The butterfly in the middle symbolizes a new beginning. It is an excruciating process to become a butterfly, an exhausting process. It takes a lot of work, and it isn't easy. 
But to become that butterfly, I must work on getting out of the cocoon.